Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Camping season is finally here, and with the Victoria Day long weekend approaching, many outdoor enthusiasts will be heading out to the lake or one of Saskatchewan's many parks. Educators from across the province gathered at the Great Plains College to share their success stories and learn more about delivering the best possible education to newcomers to the English language. Cooking on the outdoor grill is a popular scene throughout the summer season. And whether you're cooking a meal in your backyard or for a larger crowd, you're reminded to ensure the barbecue unit is in proper working order. Thanks for joining us here today. The May long weekend is around the corner and Saskatchewan parks will be open and ready to greet you for another season. We have more in today's top story. Camping season is finally here and with the Victoria Day long weekend approaching, many outdoor enthusiasts will be heading out to the lake or one of Saskatchewan's many parks. According to the Provincial Parks Visitor Services Department, all locations will be open to kick off the 2013 season. Although due to spring flooding in several areas of the province, services may be limited at a few locations. For example, as the water's um, you know, rushing through or um, in some cases still some ice on the lakes, those kinds of things, we're not uh, able to put uh, you know, the boat docks in and, and have the launches all already in operation on, in, all, in all cases. Um, as well, uh, within the Coppell itself, for example, Crooked Lake Provincial Park, there's a few campsites that have been affected by the, the water, um, the rising lake levels, but um, in terms of the overall park operation, uh, they're getting ready to go. Visitors are asked to use only approved fire pits and barbecues already constructed in the parks and obey any additional fire bans which may be in place. And as in past years, an alcohol ban will be in effect through the May long weekend. Since 2006, we've um, had an alcohol ban just on the May long weekend uh, in all of the provincial parks and recreation sites in the campgrounds. So, you know, if you're a cottager or, you know, visiting one of the the commercial operations such as the lodges, or, you know, certainly that's not uh, in effect there. But uh, any of the campgrounds, uh, the alcohol ban is in place. Saskatchewan is home to 34 provincial, 86 regional and two national parks. All waiting for you to explore this summer. To reserve your campsite or to find out more information, log on to saskparks.net. Trust the team at Pinnacle Financial to help you reach your financial goals. Whether you require personal or corporate income tax planning, bookkeeping, management consulting, or full-service mortgage brokering, our expert team has you covered. Contact us today to begin your climb to the top. English language training was in the spotlight at a special conference in Swift Current, bringing together educators from across the province. Educators from across the province gathered at the Great Plains College to share their success stories and learn more about delivering the best possible education to newcomers to the English language. The Living Language Together conference included a number of keynote speakers from across North America, including Maria Elena Arguelles. Arguelles has worked as a teacher, college professor, and now as an educational consultant, addressing groups such as the one in Swift Current. Her presentation focuses on the fact that all individuals learn based on their level of comprehension. And when you add in a new language such as English, this increases the hurdle for many. At the beginning, when a new population moves into an area, it's quite a shock. Uh, we're used to having students who come in knowing the language, having been read to, and, and so teachers need the support. They really need the, the assistance in making those transitions and changes when working with new populations. An initial roadblock which Arguelles faced herself, with Spanish as her official language. I struggled quite a bit. Uh, it took me, for example, community college took me three years instead of two. I was kicked out because uh, my grades weren't uh, good and I, I kept trying and I kept trying and I went back and then I got my master's and then I got my doctorate and so it, it's just really important for students to, to understand that message that it's a process and that uh, it, it takes time, it takes effort, but it's all worth it uh, to keep that, that focus on education. The presentations at the Living Language Together conference are very timely, as more newcomers are calling Southwest Saskatchewan home. And the lessons learned at this forum 
can be used for all ages and levels of learning. We know that vocabulary uh, richness uh, is very important in being competent in a language because if your language is not English, then you are at least a few hundred thousand words less than you speak than a native speaker. We're building the, the tools of teachers and the instruction for students who uh, are learning language as well as learning the content of uh, the curriculum. And because of the diversity that uh, is it within classrooms, uh, sessions such as this and speakers such as Maria uh, bring uh, to life uh, through their own experience the reality of what it's like to be a learner, but also what the teachers need to be thinking about as they're instructing from day to day. Through a positive effort of educators and students, learning the English language can be accessible to all, while improving overall literacy rates and employment opportunities. Our company helps tell your story and provides you with a solution on how to market your business. Because making a great video is only half the equation. You have to know how to use it. We have done a major... As the temperatures heat up in the coming weeks, you'll probably be gearing up for another barbecue season. But before you do so, here's a few safety tips. Cooking on the outdoor grill is a popular scene throughout the summer season. And whether you're cooking a meal in your backyard or for a larger crowd, you're reminded to ensure the barbecue unit is in proper working order. Clean the burners of any built-up grease or food while inspecting for any damage to the grill. Ensure all hoses are properly attached and free of any cracks or other breakage. And then when you're ready to fire up the grill, Keep these tips in mind. Yeah, starting your barbecue for the first time of the season uh, maybe doesn't want to start you know, the way it should or the way it did last year. Uh, specifically with gas barbecues or natural gas barbecues is um, making sure that they're in a well-ventilated area. Keep them away from the side of the house. Make sure that you know, they're, they're well-vented, uh, the lid is up, and uh, that you don't let them run for too long when you're trying to get them started before you take a break if you can't get it to start. You don't want an explosion or a, a small blast of burn around the barbecue. LaRue goes on to add that propane tanks should also be inspected on a regular basis to ensure they're operating properly. There is some legislation on that. Barbecue tanks have to be uh, hydrostatically tested or pressure tested on a regular basis. Um, that's all in the natural gas and propane code. Um, so there's an exchange program, people are buying into it where you just bring them back, they, they do a, you know, you go and exchange it for a full tank. Uh, if you've got your own tank, at some point in time, the, you know, they won't fill it for you and you'll have to buy a new tank or recycle the old one. Fire pits are also a popular backyard feature, and you're reminded that a permit is required. This paperwork is free and available from your local fire department. By making sure your barbecue and fire pits are all operating properly and up to code will go a long way in ensuring you have a safe season outdoors. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.